Chief of Mission at the International Office for Migration, Lauren Doburg, has said that in the face of daunting challenges of human trafficking, hope and inspiration can be found in the power of art and storytelling for effective public enlightenment. Speaking at an award ceremony of the IOM Nigeria 2023 short film contest on combating human trafficking, the Chief of Mission of the IOM emphasized the need to amplify efforts in raising awareness on the evolving tactics employed by human traffickers. Our correspondent Emeka Amako files in the report from Abuja. The scourge of human trafficking affects millions of lives around the world, and Nigeria is no exception. While the best available measures have been put forward by the Nigerian government and international partners to mitigate the menace, the IOM is celebrating the filmmakers who have used their creativity and vision to shed light on this issue, provoke thought, and ignite conversations that can drive real change. The IOM Chief of Mission, Lauren De Beck, at the IOM Nigeria 2023 short film contest on combating human trafficking in Abuja, enjoys stakeholders to help in raising awareness. We believe that through this engagement of the youth, we could explore the creativity to fight and dismantle the networks that profit from the exploitation of innocent lives and create a world where no one is left behind. The short films submitted to this contest, at a total of 54, are not just pieces of entertainment. They are windows into the experiences of survivors, the struggles of those who fight against trafficking, and the resilience of the communities coming together to create a safe world for everyone. Each film is a testament or to the filmmaker's dedication, empathy, and unwavering commitment to make a difference. And I would like to thank all of them for their contribution. The event witnessed the screening of a short film, Zanifa, by Letita Ijoma Osati Obasi, who won the first prize. Also displayed were the short film Pushed, produced by Afila Pregrino and Alima by Kong Shamaki, who took away the second and third prizes respectively. Stakeholders at the event ceremony explained that films are powerful tools for the creation of awareness on human trafficking and have the capacity to support the public to take actions against the scourge. We can use those, those films um, to spread the word much uh, more broadly and really again um, my congratulations to, to all the creators of this. I mean the artistic value that they have brought to these pieces aside from let's say the messages and, and, and that kind of stuff um, is, is absolutely fantastic. If I think of the recent one we saw, Halima, it was an extreme case of the exploitation of the vulnerability of disability. A situation that most times in our society we close our eyes to. And then you think of the second film. He was trafficked under the guise of sports. Also a scenario that is not very much in our faces. All these issues we've seen or we were confronted with in these films are all abuses of human rights. The fundamental human right of people. According to the 2022 Global Report on Human Trafficking in Persons, the global criminal justice response to trafficking has slowed down. Detection rate of victims of trafficking fell by 11% in 2020, while convictions plummeted by 27%. According to stakeholders, these figures reflect a concerning trend that demands immediate attention and concerted action.